What's going on, Mongs? It's me, Semi Mong, and today we're back on Crowfall doing a bit of crafting. Today we're going to be crafting up two one handed daggers for my gatherer on the EU server, just a standard server. So let me go ahead and select the Sheen. Yes, there we go, a bit of moderate success. Uh, the gatherer itself is currently only equipped in intermediate armor and intermediate weapons, hence why I'm going ahead and creating the weapons just so I can uh, strengthen the gatherer up and do a little bit more damage against mobs if it ever gets attacked by a mob, or it can defend itself a little bit easier if it uh, gets attacked by another player. Something to note here is that I've not got the leather working skill tree, and my gatherer is an assassin, so he requires leather armor. Therefore, there's not going to be any combat version of the class I use for my gatherer until I am able to craft up the leather working armor as well. So, for today's video, as I said, we're just going to craft up some weapons to be able to defend him a little bit better, and then once I've got the skill training, I will come back, do another video crafting up a separate leather armor set. And then visiting the assassin as a combat focused video rather than a gathering focused one. So yeah, for today's video we're going to be doing the two daggers. And then in the future I am able to craft up male and, where is it, plate armor sets as you can see here. So any classes that wear male or plate armor, I will be also doing videos on them as well. So the champion I'm guessing will be the next one. I mean we did the champion two handed axe, we crafted that up. We took a look at the champion class in general, and now I would like, like in particular, like to craft up an armor set and sort of revisit that champion class with some armor, some weapons, and better disciplines, and see if there's any just sort of a major statistic increases. But I'm going to sit up here and create the 10 metal bars that I need for the, the two daggers, and then I will be back in just a second. I'm not really getting too many great successes to be honest with you, and I am using gold here today for critical hit chance and critical hit damage. Of course, it's an assassin, you want as much critical hit chance and to do as much critical hit damage as you possibly can. So yeah, I'll catch you back in just a second. Alright, the first hill is coming up. Let's just go all damage. Oh! Dun 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 dun. Don't. Insert standard YouTube sad music here, please. If in my right mind, I would genuinely just restart this whole hill, but I'm not at that stage of blacksmithing crafting at the moment where I'm, I'm trying to specialize and maximize every statistic I can get. I am just uh, having a bit of fun, chucking in a few of the crafted materials that I have got together. Although that is a bit of a dagger to the heart situation to actually fail on a five pip, not even get a success, not any, not even a success, just a straight up failure. All right, let's go for another one. Let's see if we can do the hill a little bit better this time. So we've even got a standard attack power of plus eleven on that one. That one came out as poor. <laughs> I've been mugged, absolutely mugged. Let's just chuck in three random ones. This is where. Ooh. Should I go for a full 80% risk? Should I do it? That still leaves 4 after, so I'm going to go for that, just because it gives me above the 550%. Moderate success, there we go, now let's chuck in just a... Let's do that, level 4 more there, only a bit of a success, maybe I shouldn't have done it, like, combining them both at the same time. Once again, any more experienced uh, crafters out there, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below any tips or tricks. Every bit of help is appreciated, honestly, like, truly. Let's just do it the standard way, let's go above 50% there, and then... Uh, we can't get above 50% again, so let's just chuck in another 40% there. Good success. Got a bit more better percentages than the uh, previous blade. But it is the moment of truth. Now we must put together the blade and the hilt. I think we're going to put together the better hilt with the better blade. So what's that? 1.06, 0 0.4, and then that's 1.3. So yeah, clearly that's the worst one. I do not wish to destroy it, fam. Alright, yeah, let's take this. Let's plop you there. Look at that, doesn't that look cool? Crafting setup for the ages. Right, let's go to the weapons. 
one-handed dagger. Still not got any hunger shards, I'm afraid. Let's create the worst one, or the one that we assume is going to be worse. Attack power of six. <laughs> my, my, my champion's two-handed axe has more of attack power than that. We know damage, I'm pretty sure. Damage doesn't change anything. I don't know if it's glitched at the moment. Okay, so Sheen changes critical hit chance and critical hit damage. Now, if I go on to actual damage... Oh, it failed, so it doesn't even matter straight away. Oh, my God. Let me just uh, reiterate the fact that experimentation success, assembly success, the crafting within Crowful can be harsh at times. It is for... It is not for the weak of heart and those expecting to always be the best of the best and succeed. Like me and this crappy ass dagger. <laughs> Look, that's got an attack power of 14. It's got a critical hit damage of uh, 4 and a critical hit chance. Uh, crit blah, 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 blah. My English. A critical hit chance of plus 1.2. It is already better than the previous dagger that we just experimented on. That is, though, let's be honest, because it was of poor quality. When something's of poor quality, the statistics on it just uh, drop. But let's uh, do a little uh, test once again. Sheen should be increasing critical hit damage and critical hit chance. Sorry, I was just reading up the thing there. Run expect. Oh! Oh my god! The failure! The failure! Should we just do damage to prove my point? <gasps> Imagine if this was an uncommon, a rare, an epic item, and I just got two failures. Imagine. I'm guessing I'm going to have to come back and create some better one-handed daggers because I don't think these are going to protect my gatherer as well as, uh, uh, as well or as efficiently as I'm hoping to. But guys, yeah, I'll be back to create some more daggers. I will then be back once I've got the resources to create an armor set for this wa uh, I was about to say wonderful, started to say marvelous, for this marvelous half giant here. Once I've got an armor set for him, we will be revisiting the champion class as we have done previously. So if you haven't already, be sure to go check out those older videos. Yeah. Be sure to leave that like down below, get involved in the comment section, whether it's crowful or gaming related. I want to hear your opinion, I do value it. And then be sure to check out the description down below for links to various gaming shops, my Amazon shop, my Redbubble shop, where you can get different types of products, t-shirts, latest game releases, consoles, you know those little cute but deadly pop Funko figures, you can get them, alright, they're cool. But yeah, thanks for all the support guys, it really means a lot, and I shall see you, hopefully next time with better RNG, in the next video.